This time on the Gallifreyan Gunner. Welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I gave my first impressions of the German sports guns GSG-16 semi-automatic 22 caliber rifle, what I call the MP5-ish. In this video, we're going to be uh, talking about my recent trip to the range with the rifle, some of the pros and cons of it, and review some of the footage that I shot there to see how it performed. Now, before we begin, um, I just wanted to go over a couple of points. Uh, first of all, all the shooting was done in an indoor range and all proper safety precautions and laws were followed when making these videos. Second, this is the age of COVID and uh, the number of people on the range were limited to allow proper social distancing and we were allowed to remove our masks when we were actually in the shooting bay. Uh, if we had to leave the bay, we had to put our masks back on. And three, me, I'm a target shooter. Um, some hunting, but mostly trying to put precise dots on paper. And um, so this action shooting thing is new to me. I'm, you know, trying to explore things. I uh, got myself a pistol, I already had a shotgun, and uh, with this rifle, hoping to sort of get into maybe three gun down the road. So uh, when it comes to doing some of the action shooting videos later on, please don't judge me by my marksmanship. I'm just starting out. So, uh, let's talk about the rifle for a minute. Overall, I have uh, very positive things to say about this rifle. It's a lot of fun to shoot. Um, I found it decently uh, accurate for a 22. And um, the iron sights, they're basic iron sights, nothing fancy. Um, I did put a very inexpensive red dot in here. And uh, when we get the actual shooting portion, one thing I quickly discovered on the range is, um, it's very, very fussy when it comes to shooting distances. So I sighted it in for shooting at the, the 25 yard targets. But when you bring the target back to, you know, 15 yards, when I was doing the action shooting, it, you know, it starts to shoot low. So, uh, you know, you got to compromise sometime. If I'm going to get into action shooting, I'll probably, you know, sight this in for closer targets. But uh, for right now, when you see the targets, take that for what it's worth. Um, as you'll see in the video, um, this, you know, this is a very new rifle, so it's still going in, in through the break-in process. So there was a couple of issues with misfeeds and things like that, that, you know, I'm not going to judge that until, you know, I get a, a thousand rounds or, or so through this rifle. Um, once it did feed the first round in, and we'll, again, we'll talk about that later, um, you know, no problems whatsoever, but I did find the actual loading of the rifle um, not exactly easy sometimes. Let's take a look at some range footage. In this next clip, you're going to see me do an awkward mag change using a feature that GSG added to the rifle when they were trying to make it look a little less like an MP5 to get uh, H&K off their back. And that's the ability to put a magazine in the buttstock for storage. Uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest, even though this looks kind of cool, I don't really see the utility of it. Uh, when the rifle's shouldered, it is a little bit awkward to, to try and get it out. Um, so one of the issues that you are going to see during this uh, clip is the fact that I did have some issues chambering the first round when I inserted a, a magazine into it 
Um, I had this before um, when I first got the rifle and started sighting in, tried using the famous HK slap to, to chamber the first round and it just, it, that wouldn't work maybe like 50% of the time. So what I was doing is I was actually pulling the cocking handle fully to the rear and, and releasing it as you saw in uh, the last clip. For some reason uh, with this, put a magazine in, it was all the way in pull it back it would either not go forward or the bolt would go forward and not pick up the first round uh, only happened once or twice after that but um, I'm hoping this is just something I'm, in the break-in period I'm going to keep an eye on it and um, I'll let you know what I find out later so uh, on this clip I'm going to be shooting at two separate targets again I'm not an action shooter this is a not quite spray and pray but it's uh, pretty close and you'll see the misfires. Okay, so let's go to the clip. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with the rifle. Um, it's reasonably accurate. It's a lot of fun to shoot. It's a, it's a nice little plinker. Hopefully some of those feed issues that I was having that you saw in the video will go away once it gets a little bit more broken in. Um, I'll be making videos in the future when I start to get multi-thousand rounds through this just so you can see how it's making out. And I'll be using it from time to time to test out some optics. I'm gonna try out different red dots, see what's kind of best for me. and. Uh, probably going to be doing some modifications get some of the aftermarket parts for this to kind of make it less mp5 ish and more mp5 things like all og stock that sort of thing so in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you can see my videos that are coming up until next time take care